And so former NBA player Hassan Whiteside came up with an idea how to make the All-Star game enjoyable. Good luck with that. I just stick to reruns because I don't waste my time with them low lights. He said that the winner of the NBA All-Star game should get home court advantage in the finals. That's what Major League Baseball does. And my reaction was, <laughs> ain't nobody going to listen to what Hassan got to say. He could have been a good center. He could just shoot free throws. He could shoot, but he was just so half timey. Or oh, as I like to say, if you're watching my live stream, he could have been an example of a bum player. Because when I call a guy a bum player, that means he could have been good, maybe great. But he felt when he feels like, and he was a feeler. That's why he did it. He, he had everything that Bam, Bama Bayer plays harder than him. But Whiteside had all that to do, but he just wasn't consistent. Just didn't have the ethic to me. So why are they going to listen to his suggestion? Why is it dumb? First of all, home court don't really have the same connotation it once did because teams today don't really go to the hole per se. I mean, obviously I watch these games and I can tell you when the Lakers are playing, when they're in LA, they definitely get home court cooking. That go what I was saying because these refs suck and they bought and paid off. Don't get me started on how many that go. But in the real world, but they do lose at home too because they're not oblivious from getting beat at home. In the real world though, it really don't really matter as much because those days are gone. There is no Phil Jackson, Pat Riley, even Popovich that can get to the rest and change the outcome. It really ain't that different because everybody shoots threes now. So everybody plays volleyball, long ball, back tap. So you really don't have the home court thing and leads get evaporated. They're really, and more than ever, if you're good enough on the road, you can win wherever. So I don't really see what that would make a merit. If we had a day where we had a dominant low post game and you could see obvious when Phil Jackson could talk to the media through the media, talk to the rest of them, you talk about got the calls. Yeah, if you got a Shaq, Tim Duncan type, you know, got somebody like that, you ain't got that. Because unless Iron Williams decides to morph and play in the box more or something like that, he actually gets decent or cap. Cat with Minnesota does that, or Joel Embiid, or joke it. Uh, that's not going to really make a difference. So it's an interesting idea for about ten seconds, and then you forget about it because that NBA ain't like that no more. But anyway, I thought I'd address that one that Hassan Whiteside brought that up because I just don't really see it have any merit in this day and time. But there was a point of time when All Star Game meant something, and they meant something. That may have been an interesting idea. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share. If you like, I'm on peace.